how to use the shape blur in Photoshop using a variety of different shapes. Now, these shapes can be created using custom shapes. You can be using just simple rectangle tools, maybe using the pen tool to create shapes. But the key thing here is filter and blur and shape blur. And I'm just kind of create a couple of shapes, basic shapes, maybe like a rectangle shape, just a very single line, very simple. And then define this custom shape. Click OK. Once you've actually got that, just remove it. I don't want it anymore. What you can then do, just quickly go to the shape blur and blur and shape blur there. Now I'm going to set it around about 300. You can set it obviously any value 20, 25. You really can't really notice the effect when you've got it very low. It sort of just, just blurs it. But when you actually got, see a variety of different shapes, I've already got in there. Some of the shapes you can see there are graphicextras.com shapes. But uh, the ones at the bottom are just ones you created very simply just by using the pen tool or like zigzag there. I've just created just using the pen tool and just created a very simple zigzag. And you can see the zigzag shape there. Or maybe little dots. You can see little dots just added and sort of moss, make mottle in shapes using the shape blur. And there's another one there just using. Or maybe like a, just some very, very basic straight lines. If you create a straight line just using the pen tool or rectangle, just rotate it around to find that as a custom shape. You can see the effect of really nice sort of very rapid motion blur of the shape. Got a slight curve in there as well. So you can just pen tool, you can just create a whole variety of very, very quick shapes using the pen tool. So something as simple as that, very basic. Now, if that's actually not selected, as define up as a custom shape, use the direct selection tool to actually select it and then use the define custom shape in the edit menu. Shape blur. Now I'm just going to go down to that shape. I'm going to say set the value 220, 300, make it really quite large so you can just sort of spread it and you can see the motion blur there. Whole range of different designs just by simply selecting different shapes. You can say select a different one, and you can, in most cases, you can actually see the shape come through. You can see a sort of very like here. I'm just selecting a letter, basically a type. Just create some type, and then convert it to a native shape, and then obviously define it as a custom shape. And you can see the A there, just sort of very very blurry, smudgy A, but it is there, just about. And again, let's say correct create using the pen tool just to just going to create a very basic C letter looking shape. Not very good C but a shit C all the same. Once you've actually got that we can do edit and define custom shape. Click OK and like I say if it's not selected just go to the direct selection tool and just select all the, the points. Shape blur again just go back down. It can be a bit slow just dragging that down. Yep select that and you can see the C there and then that will take it up. You can create some really, really nice sort of designs there. You see that lovely blur in the center, but obviously the, the slightly less intensity at the top. So you can create some pretty abstract blurring designs just by using these custom shapes. I'm just going to add another one. I'm just going to add them slightly different there, just more points, just a sort of like extended S or maybe even slightly more than a standard S. Just go there. Click there, click there, round, very abstract shape. And then once you've actually got that, I can redefine it. Just so you can see the actual design there. Now again, no, no custom shape available at that point. You press turn and direct selection tool. Make certain it's all selected. I've got all the points. Edit and define custom shape. Click OK. Remove it again. Then go back to the blur and shape blur. Now it's a pity you can't actually use brushes as a source as well, patterns and other things, but we've got so the blurs there just as standard custom shapes. Just select that. And you can see then you've got that sort of you can see the lines going in and out just as you go. You've got the intense at the center. You can just about make out the blurred shape there. Now obviously I could use photos, I'm just using a slightly blurred circle, but it could be a square, it could be any other shape. You can also use channels, go to window menu and channels, just go to blur, shape blur, so I'm selecting the red channel at this point, and I'm just going to select a design there, one of the like little dots, just little crazy little dots, just there. Basic very circles, and then just define that as a custom shape. Select the green channel, go to shape blur again, and go down. And just a bit for select one like maybe the zigzag design. You can say see that zigzag there, you can just see the zigzag shape just appearing there. 
And then when you go back, you can see obviously the blue hasn't been blurred, so you can see it at the background. So I'm just going to go to the blue, filter, and blur, and shape blur. Then go down again and select one of those, like say the letter A, or one of the and you of course could use B, C, D, E, F, etc. And you can see the slightly, and then of course once you go back to RGB, you can actually see the blur effect there. You can see the line there going through it. Create some really beautiful shapes, just very quickly and easy there. And of course you can go to blur and shape blur and apply other effects. Or maybe add other designs. It doesn't particularly matter what sort of, so you've got pixels. I'm going to create a little block there. Maybe not making black, but in white. And again, apply the effects there, but it does actually affect the actual, obviously the image you're actually using can be changed, but a whole range of different blurs can be created by using this shape blur and the actual custom shapes. Great choice. I hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much.